traffic is heavy on the Dry Fork Station plant site. Crates coming in from Korea carry the pieces for the power plant's transformers. Wheatland TSM's Kevin Van Heusen and Tyler Lindholm are unpacking bushings, radiators, everything that will be attached to the generator step-up transformer. Several TSM crews have just finished putting the pieces on the reserve auxiliary transformer. All the guys know this stuff pretty well, but we've, you know, to assemble one from the start like that was, uh, was a, a learning experience. But first, let's learn what these transformers do at a power plant. It's here in the generator where the mechanical energy made by the steam turbine is converted to electrical energy. The electricity moves down a floor to the isophase bus duct. Inside that, there is a conductor that will move the power out of the building to the generator step-up transformer. So the power moves through the isophase bus duct, which will be coming through that square cutout you can see on the side of the building, to the GSU, the generator step-up transformer. At that point, the power is stepped up to 230,000 volts of electricity. From there, it moves to the plant's substation, where most of the power heads out onto the transmission grid. However, some of it will head back toward the plant to the RAT, the reserve auxiliary transformer, which is sitting there right to the left of the GSU. At that point, the power is stepped down to 13,800 volts. The electricity goes into the plant to be used for things such as lights, motors, fans, and computers. Bruce Wolf works for Wheatland TSM. What they're doing is called dressing the transformers. We, we installed all the radiators, the fans, the lightning arresters, the brackets, the bushings, those bushing towers, and the conservator tank. It takes a dozen people about a month and a half to dress both the generator step-up and the reserve auxiliary. So we've worked on lots of them where we've changed gaskets and changed uh, bushings and a lot of the stuff, but we've never totally dressed one out like this before. The transformers play a big part in getting electricity to where it's needed, whether that's in a home or in the plant. At Dry Fork Station, I'm Tracy Bettenhausen for Basin Electric.